Hi everyone! So today I wanted to do a really quick just like introduction to the Salt New York Sneaky Balm and this is the Hydrating Skin Tint. I have it in the shade N12 and uh, right away like the reason why it literally just got delivered and I got out of the shower and was like had to throw this on um, and I really wanted to see if the color match was going to be good because I saw when I saw the person in the swatches um, and they had like everybody you know, everybody was wearing it and it wasn't just like hand swatches uh, she did look a little bit darker than me so I was worried it would be a little bit too deep. Now what I can say is the N12 shade, I would say swatching it on my hand, my hand and my face are very comparable in color tone, uh, it, and especially like a swatch where it's a little bit more heavy pigment, uh, it was a little bit too dark. And I was worried, I was right away like, oh no, it's going to be a little bit off. Uh, then I applied it and I was like very happily surprised that it worked pretty well. So it is a hair darker. I'm standing in front of really bright white lights. Uh, it's just like the only good lighting I have in my room here. And it's it's like the worst kind of snowy weird day uh, where I live. So this is like the best light I have. But um, it, it is a little bit warmer than I normally go. But I think because she formulated it to be sort of olive toned, it works. It's still kind of doable. If it was this a little bit deeper and it was extra pinky or orange or whatever people do with the cool tones um it would be way more obvious but i think because it's that sort of warm olive it, it totally worked out um how i applied it was i used my uh this is a uh, trish mcavoy wet dry precise face brush and um i like this brush it's like if you can see it's a little bit bigger than like a traditional flat top angled um or i guess it's a flat top angled like kabuki brush but um, this is a little bit bigger than that, but I love it because it works when you try and use like a concealer product as a foundation and you need it a little bit bigger than a concealer brush, but it gives you more sort of coverage without being like too much coverage. So when I first applied this, I did a really light layer and I would compare it to like the Uncover uh, concealer from RMS as far as like the first layer. And then I was able to build it. And what I loved about how when I built it, especially about the areas, so like around my nose, uh, I have some like extra sort of scarring from pimples. I don't actively have any pimples right now, but I have some scarring and it did a really good job of just sort of neutralizing them. I would say that it didn't cut all of the color out. Um, you know, especially like right under my eyes, I have a little bit of hyperpigmentation after I had my daughter that nothing covers, but like, I don't need it to be completely covered. It's totally fine. I have freckling just in general. So I have no problem with that peeking through. And what I like is that like in between my eyes, it didn't gather, it didn't gather around my nose, even in the pores on my nose, which can sometimes be like a spot the foundation really sinks. It, it's not sinking there. And I keep checking it. I did not powder it. Um, I, I'm on the dry side, so I really don't powder foundation very often. I only ever use powders to like l make my uh, face look a little more luminous. So I'll use like my ethereal light from Hourglass just to make myself look more luminous, not so much to ever bring down like oil because I just don't have that much oil on my face. Um, but I would say what's nice about it is that like it definitely is not settling weird. You know, we all have like creases when we smile and things and it's not when, once your face relaxes, that should go away. Like the foundation shouldn't still be stuck in that. And this is doing a really good job of being flexible which is what I was really hoping for with this. I will say I applied uh, Coco, which is uh, one of their uh, blush shades. I, I sort of, I know light now doesn't look, have that much blush on. I would probably say it's the lights, but um, I used Coco as sort of like a bronzing uh, blush on the backs of my cheeks. And then I went in with Floor, which looks like it would be an insane shade, but it actually is really comparable. Let's see if I can get it out without like, jabbing my fingers in it um it looks like it would be just way too crazy of a color but it's really similar to pop it from westman atelier and it's way more affordable so i was really happy because i just got this and i was shocked to see how kind of a similar of effect they give so you can just put this like sort of right here or that's how i do it and then um you know have that bronzing contour and then it just gives you that little bit of brightness a little bit of life and you can use these so lightly and get the same effect or you can really get a ton of color with them so i just love that they're like watercolors if you want them to be uh, it can be kind of whatever you want with those products and then like the cocoa i love this because let me just pull that out quick um it's sort of the perfect bronzer for me 
like if I have, I'm sorry, I have this big adept uh, palette in front of me, so I'm just pulling them out. But if I have a like normal bronzer shade, like this is the light. Um, and this, so I know these look like this looks way darker, but because of the formula, it's really not that dark. You can cheer it out. But this is so much warmer and it doesn't really look believable on me. But because this has some coolness in it and I just used it lightly, like that's what I have on my cheeks. It doesn't look like, like super intense or anything. But it just gives like a little bit of warmth for me without being like crazy warm orange. So I really like this. I'm super excited about this cocoa. I know this is like a new winter shade from them. Uh, these are like all the ones I got. I got a couple <laughs> right now, um, but already super excited about them. I also think Sugar Plum, which is another new one from them. If you really like Rosé or Rose, I'm not sure if it's Rose or Rosé, but um, the, or I guess this is just Plum. Oh, I thought, why, why did I think this was Sugar Plum? I'm not sure. But <laughs> this, if you like the Rose shade and you wanted maybe something a little bit cooler, this is a really good option. This looks so pretty. Um, so yeah, I'm just really excited. I, my only thing is if they could do like an adjuster shade for the, the foundation or one shade lighter. That's my only really th uh, criteria about it or, or I guess critique. Um, and I would say that it does say, I know on the back, like I just read that when I was reading the color of it, it said that it's a hydrating skin tint. And what I want to say about that is like, it doesn't feel drying at all, but that I, when I hear something saying it's like a hydrating tint, I'm sort of expecting it to give like a really dewy glossy look to the skin and I when you hear hydrating in this don't think that I think or at least on my skin type um as you can see like since I'm not powdered it's definitely not reflective or shiny or extra glossy I would say it just gives a really like skin like effect without being like overly dewy and then you can go back in and you know add highlight and things like that but um I would say if you're afraid of it being like super dewy or something it certainly doesn't have that effect on dry skin tone like I mean skin type that I have all right so hopefully that was helpful for you uh if you were kind of worried like oh is that not going to be light enough if you're just like me um it, it definitely is up for most people I think it would be like a really good fair shade and then um, I think that warmth makes it a little bit more wearable, especially if you don't have like that orange undertone. All right, thanks.